Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Color and I'm here with Loch. Hey! Congrats on your very first day well, at thank ELCS. You. Thank you. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it so much, but I mean, it's the first time as well. I was really stressed, so I hope it gets better tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. You know why I already know this video is going to go viral? Because it has two grills. With your hair, I know. Well, you've been rocking it on Twitter, so... Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm almost jealous of your hair right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, first up, does it feel a bit awkward to, to talk to all these players and like in, in person, of course, because you've done w tons of work before. You've interviewed Faker. Yeah, well, it felt weird at first. I mean, the first time I did it was in 2015 at Worlds in uh, Paris. Uh -huh. And back then I had like no experience at all. So I was kind of intimidated by some players like Doublelift, uh, Faker, obviously. But the more you do it, the more you relax. And right now it's like they're really nice. So it feels really good. Most of them, of course. <laughs> Have you had any like bad experiences so far? Uh, I had weird experience. Like you have all these questions prepped and the player goes like, no, or yes, or just a single one. Well, I think you know that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. at this moment, you're not always prepared to bounce back. But once again, uh, the more the time goes and the more you're prepared to do so. So no bad experience. Yeah, that's nice to hear. I've, I've had one or two bad experiences. So <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but we're not going to discuss them <laughs> right here. Um, so we, we've seen some interesting games today yeah. with uh, some interesting breaks. Uh, what does it feel like, you know, as someone who has to immediately prepare and be basically right after the game needs to sit on stage and ask them mm. hopefully good questions? <laughs> um, when a break happens like that, how do you, as a person, react to that and adapt, essentially? Because, well, you know, the questions can change. Uh, what I do is I, I have a two-time prep. Mm -hmm. uh, when coming today, I already have, like, a bunch of questions, whether you like, uh, most generic thing, not especially about the game. And, you know, if something, like, really wild happens, like a base race uh, we saw last week or... Splatters you well, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you have to put into it. But since it's the beginning of the season, you really have many things to ask to the players already. So, I mean, uh, I don't ask that much questions about the game. Uh, I would like to do it more often because I feel like I have, well, I understand the game well enough to do it. But since I'm not relaxed enough for the moment, I stick to what I know. Fair enough. Now, you you have worked for the for the last uh, two years now at this mm -hmm. point in, in this scene, in the space. Uh, what did you learn from your work in France specifically? That you carry over. Uh, well, in France, I was hosting mostly, so it really put me in a world where I have like to jump, just uh, jump balls to my analyst and not mm. really entitled to give my opinion, which is a thing that I can do here. So it's kind of an improvement, I think. But well, my experience in France was just the first on camera at all, so it really helped, and I I love working with them. So. Good. You got to be the host of the UL's Summer Split Finals, you know, standing in front of like 10,000 Parisians and people from international spaces. That must have been really intimidating. It was awesome. Like, I think my best memory by far, really. I was so stressed about it because I, I've never done stage work before. It was really the first time I did it. And I remember when I arrived at the uh, Oka Rotel Arena and I was like, shit, it's going to be full tomorrow. How am I going to do it? And then... The next thing happened and the next day I got up on stage and, you know, people give you so much energy when you're on stage. And it was awesome, really. I Actually, I wasn't stressed on stage. It's so weird. So you felt better on stage than off stage? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's an amazing experience. If I can do it again, I will. And it's, it's really different from what I do here. I feel like I had more pressure from being here because, well, in Paris, it was just a one-time thing and people had like less expectations from me because I was new. And since here, I'm supposed to stay, well, at least come uh, every two weeks, I have to get better and better. And that's the real challenge. Talking about getting better and better and criticism, of course, do you read all the Reddit threads and like stuff like that? People uh, place online? Well, uh, I'm lucky enough to have friends who like sort of things for me. Mm. So I, I don't see all the negative and sexist comment, for instance. And then they give me the positive feedback uh, on how I should stand, how I should speak and all. But well, I read the Reddit thread in Paris and it was rather good. So good job. No problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks <what>? a lot. <laughs> um, 
So, yeah, like, what would you recommend, say, of, of course, there are a lot of people in our space in general, you know, journalists who want to do what I do and uh, hosts who uh, want to work at Riot potentially and, you know, fill in your free now vacant position in France, for example. Uh, what uh, would you recommend to them? I think you just have to try hard. Well, I mean, when people usually ask me that, that question, I'm like, I put on such an investment for four years and I, well, basically what I'm doing here today is like what I've dreamed for the last four years. So yeah, I think if, if you're good enough and if you try hard enough, eventually it would happen. Okay, and of course you need to have beautiful hair. And you've got that covered, <laughs> so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I think you've done a very good performance for your very first day. I'm very excited to see you back at the EULCS. Is there anything you would like to say to the plenty of EULCS fans out there? Well, thank you very much for cheering for me and for being so positive. I promise I will be get better with time. Okay. <laughs> Now, this was Laure with a very nice French accent. I only have a German accent, so the only thing I can do with that is a bad Nazi impression. <laughs> So this was Darius from the Shot Caller. Make sure to follow Loch on Twitter. See you guys then. Bye-bye.